where is my history paper that I need to hand in tomorrow? Okay, I had it right here, and now it's gone. Ew, what's that under there? Oh, gross. Look who it is. It's Honey the Bunny. She's having a bit of a nap, weren't you? And I woke you up because I wanted you to come and say hello. I didn't want you to be antisocial. <laughs> hey guys, so Honey and I thought that we should show you. Honey, you're honestly melting into my lip gloss today. That's lovely. We thought that we would show you how to keep your desk organized and how to tidy up your desk and workspace in under 10 minutes because a lot of you guys have been asking me for my tips on how to keep the ideal workspace environment. And like I always say, your workspace really can influence your level of productivity and your level of motivation and also make you feel a lot more inspired when you've got all of your stuff well organized. So I thought I would show you that today. Also, a little bit of a side note, I've been getting such amazing comments from you guys saying you all find my blog posts on Seated Education Reads website, that's my stationery line, really helpful. So I'm so glad if you guys haven't already, definitely head over there and check out my blogs. You can also sign up to be an official Seated study buddy and when you do, you can access my secret study sessions. So definitely click the link below, I'm going to put it in the description box and you can go and head on over after you finish watching this episode. All right, guys, let's get into my desk organization or a study organization episode. And I hope you find it helpful. If you do, then thumbs up. Honey, I know that you probably don't really care if your area is all that tidy, do you? No, probably not. Oh, you're giving me kisses. Thank you. But actually, honey, I know you don't care that much considering you did nibble at my desk the other day and now there are bunny bite marks all over. So thanks a lot, honey. All right, guys, let's get into the episode and I hope you enjoy. Let's go, honey. So the first thing to do when reorganizing your desk is to take everything off. I try and categorize things as I take them off though, so creating little piles for stationery, books, worksheets and other things. This will make it a lot easier to organize them later on. Once your desk is cleared, take a wet cloth and wipe it down. I also like to add a little bit of lavender or lemongrass oil to give it a really nice fresh smell. So the first thing I did and recommend you also do is sort through old pens and throw out the ones that don't work anymore because I'm sure that there are some that really don't. Then choose your favourite ones to keep on your desk and the rest can go into storage. I also chose to keep my collection of post-it notes in a box in my cabinet rather than displaying them all because I really don't need that many on any given day. I do however recommend keeping a few on your desk so that you can use them for annotating your textbooks or flagging important information. I really love these ones so I did decide to put them on my desk. Then decide on what other items you really want to keep on your desk and I decided to include some palm cards, a bunch of paper clips including these giant ones that Adam's grandmother got me for organising my papers, I think they're so cool, and some pins as well and I arranged them in my desk organiser. Also, if you don't have one already, I highly recommend you buy one. They're really cheap and you can get them at most places that sell stationery or room decor and this one was only $10 when I bought it a while back. So I went to Kmart the other week, of course, and found this little black basket and thought I would use it to organize my smaller notepads and exercise books. So I put them in here. Then, because I had the extra room, I also placed my highlighters in a little white tin that I think is actually made for a flower pot and I put it in the basket as well because it fit really well. Next, it's onto the exercise books and textbooks. So instead of having them all on my desk, I used one of my empty magazine holders to store my exercise books in and then placed my textbooks in my cabinet. I recommend trying not to keep them all on your desk to avoid cluttering up the space. I did just keep a couple exercise books on my desk though because I like to have somewhere to write down my ideas when I'm working and I don't really like to have to get up to get a sheet of paper. Now, if you're studying, then you will need to keep some pencils and pens on your desk. So one easy way to organize them is to just use a jar or cup and place them on your desk. I put my pencils in this cup and they're always in arm's reach. I also found this really pretty jewelry tray and decided to use it to store a few pens, erasers, and also my to-do list. This was also from Kmart, go figure. And again, I'm pretty sure it wasn't more than $10 either, which is great. 
Plus, the white and pink trays are removable, so you can arrange it however you like and create more storage space if you need. And finally, I added a few other things to spice up my desk, including some flowers, my favourite quote card, and a little clock so that I can keep track of the time. You don't have to have these exact same things, but I do recommend adding a couple of things that help you to make your desk nice and just make you feel more inspired. And there you have it. It honestly didn't take me that long and the difference is huge. Also, if you hate cleaning your desk or room, then I always like to make a little playlist and listen to some music to help make it more fun too. Honey, did you learn some good tips on how to stay tidy? Probably not. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, then thumbs up. And also, if you're not already subscribed, then click that subscribe button and join in all the Jessica fun. Honey and I are here to help you out with all of your study needs. She is my study buddy bunny after all. And I hope you have a very happy and productive week. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next week. Bye. Say bye, honey. Bye. <laughs> honey, there's fur everywhere. <laughs> see you guys. <laughs>